Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chef Shannon. I'm a plant-based chef for those of you that are new to me. Um, I really hope that while you're here on my channel, you will like my video and I really, really hope that you'll subscribe so I can help you eat more plants. And today's entree is gonna be scallops and polenta. And of course not regular scallops from the sea, but I'm gonna use mushrooms today to make a scallop substitute. And they're gonna be delicious. They're gonna be seared in a sesame oil and they're gonna be served over a creamy bed of polenta. Okay, this recipe comes together in two easy steps. The first thing you wanna do is get your polenta on to cook. And I know if you're from the southern part of the United States, you're gonna call this grits instead of polenta, but it uh, depends on where you are in the world. But anyway, it's a wonderful substitute where you would normally have maybe mashed potatoes, but delicious, wholesome, um, and I'm using organic grits today. So I'm gonna add one cup of the grits to my saucepan. I'm gonna get my power going there. I'm gonna add a half a stick of vegan butter. And I'm gonna have a total of four cups of liquid. I'm gonna use two cups of water and two cups of plant milk. Today I'm using almond milk. Sometimes I use oat milk, sometimes rice milk, whatever your preference is, um, as long as it's an animal milk. Or it's not an animal milk, plant milk. So to give our grits lots of nice flavor, or polenta, um, I'm gonna add some vegan vegetable bouillon. And I'm using the paste variety. And the particular one I have here calls for a teaspoon of the uh, bouillon per cup of, of uh, liquid. So I just put four teaspoons of this paste style bouillon in here. I'm gonna mix it around a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir it into my pan with the polenta. And just because I like a little extra oomph of flavor, I'm gonna add an additional half teaspoon of granulated onion and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just gonna stir to combine and let that come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer and let it cook for approximately 30 minutes. Okay, these gorgeous mushrooms are gonna be our scallops when we're all done today. And these are called king oyster. Um, they're hard to find in certain parts of the country or certain parts of the world, but if you can find them, they're worth looking for. They're absolutely delicious and they work so well as a scallop substitute. Um, but if you wanna try this recipe and you can't find king oyster mushrooms for some reason, I did buy some just standard white button mushrooms um, that we can use as well. So try and find these. If you can't, you can work it out with a different type of variety. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is just cut this cap off, set it aside, and then I'm gonna cut these mushroom stems into the size of a scallop. What you want is to try and get an even um, end, something that'll be stable when it's frying in the pan. So try and cut it in a straight line. Look at all these great little scallops I'm gonna have. So for this regular white mushroom, has a little dirt on the bottom, I'm gonna trim that off. But I think what I'm gonna do is just cut it like so, and we'll fry it this way. Okay, I'm gonna take an extra little step. So you're making this tic-tac-toe like pattern on each end of the mushroom. And there's two reasons for it. One, it's gonna look really, really beautiful when we're done cooking it. But also, mushrooms are super porous, and by cutting some slits in there, it's really gonna allow the flavors to seep up into the mushroom. I'm all 
also going to add a few thinly sliced Brussels sprouts to add a little color and interest to our plate. I'm just cutting them long ways, a nice thin even slice. Okay, who's excited? I know I am. We're gonna start plating our beautiful polenta with scallop entree. The polenta came out nice and creamy. I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit. And now we're gonna add in our beautiful scallops. These have a nice crispy sear on one side, or actually on both sides. Um, but the great thing is that they're really moist, juicy on the inside. I just had two packs of those mushrooms, but there's enough here. And now let's get some color on the plate. Add in our Brussels sprouts. These have a beautiful sear on them. Citrus veggies are really good for us, so it's always nice to add these into a meal whenever possible. I've got some pretty leaves here. It came off of my cuts, but they still look nice and they still taste delicious. And I cut up a few heirloom tomatoes just to add a little bit of color here. And one last thing it needs is a drizzle of uh, balsamic vinaigrette. There we go. Delicious, elegant dinner, but very simple. Came together in just two easy steps. <laughs>